Getting knifed in CSGO is a pretty rare thing. So when we saw a player get knifed not once, not twice, but five times at the Ready Up CSGO Invitational, people started to get a little suspicious. With $100,000 on the line, there were accusations that two players on opposing teams might have been teaming to split the prize pool. And Face It even issued a ruling on this situation, and it's not what we expected. Let's dive in. It's August. That means it's nearly my birthday, but it also means Evo is nearly upon us. And the Score Esports will be hosting a co-stream of Evo on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Score Esports this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's gonna be a really fun event, and I'm gonna get to meet people that I haven't even met face to face yet, like Danny and Liz. It's gonna be awesome, so tune in, don't miss it. Okay, so the full name of the event that we're talking about today is the Sony Endzone $100,000 Ready Up CSGO Invitational, and it was organized by Twitch. It features streamers playing or casting CSGO, many of whom are not people that you would associate with tax shooters. Does Rich ever play CSGO? No. I, uh, I've never played CSGO, and I'll probably never play shooters on stream. And the reason for that is I like talking too much, and in shooters, you really can't just, just talk, you know? But the weirdest thing about this tournament is that the winners weren't determined in the typical way, where you win enough maps to win a series and then just repeat until you've won the tournament. Instead, they tracked a participant's individual kills, assists, and knife kills. Kind of a weird fit for a game that's based entirely around teamwork, but that's what they went with. If you've ever played or even watched CS, you're probably not surprised that in this format, a knife kill was worth five times as much as a regular kill because it's generally much rarer. But that caused an issue because on one of the maps, there were a lot of knife kills and they mostly involved two players on opposing teams. Ultimately, the question was raised by others playing in the event. Were these knife kills an attempt to trade points cross team? To answer that, let's first talk about those players. Gale Adelaide is predominantly an Overwatch streamer and there's no question in my eyes, he's definitely cracked. You know what I mean? I'll carry, I'll carry. He was signed to TSM at age 16, and that contract just recently ended this past February. Brian Kefri St. Pierre is predominantly an Overwatch streamer, and if that name sounds familiar, it's probably because you've seen his name attached to some Widowmaker highlights. Kefri and Gale do have a history of just being a duo in Overwatch, and according to Gale, the night before the tournament, the two Tried to brush up on some CS fundamentals and apparently went pretty well. Um, I did play one game last night with Kefri and I actually top fragged, so I think there's hope for me to perform. I guess we'll see. Anyways, the two players were on opposing teams on Mirage and a lot of knifing happened. Another one out mid. Shit. Bro, he's trying to farm the nade points. Knife given that this was an individual tournament and the two players involved in all of these knifing incidents had a previous relationship it's fair to say that people were pretty pissed run left i think he ran that i think he ran left oh my just god just knifed him i'm never playing b Is again that? dude somebody please pick up b bro are you getting a knife kill no, i'm i'm begging somebody to pick up b <laughs> Uh, yeah. I am That's begging. The third knife in I am begging you to pick up B. Yeah, Please. Oh, yeah, I'm confused. How are you getting knife? I don't know. That's why I'm asking someone to take B. I don't want B. I'm tired of him. Okay, I well, I will sit B. Thank you. Please, please, please. come on, baby. Because he keeps oh. killing well, you got, me. You got skins out the. You like got so many skins. I got Bro, you just gave him 15. I'm not. I've been begging to go A. 
in total, the map had five knife kills that featured only Kefri and Gale. A tweet from Jake Lucky popularized the accusations, and Kefri responded to the clip and defended himself, saying that he didn't hear and just sucks. His words, not mine. Kefri was removed from the tournament, but Face It later cleared his name in terms of cheating. And Heaven Media, the marketing agency involved, stated that the removal was because of an increasingly hostile environment due to the accusations. On stream, Kefri clarified that money is not a motivating factor for him, and that he is so good at cheating that if he had cheated, we wouldn't know about it. Okay. So the motive is that you thought I wanted to split the cash with Gail, 50-50, 25K, 25K, okay. There we go. I want you to know, I, I, I'm literally wearing 14 grand right now. So I don't, I don't need money. Okay, so now that that's been established. Um, if I was gonna cheat as an individual with a master's degree, in intelligence studies and analysis, a former FBI analyst, having worked literally for all of the three letter agencies, four and a half years active duty army. We'll skip the part where, you know, I'm the biggest advocate for a proper anti-cheat and literally crucify all of the cheaters in Overwatch. We'll skip all of that. If I wanted to cheat, you would never know. You would never know. I would never get caught. So I suppose the question now is, were they cheating? Like, was this a conscious attempt to feed points to a friend, which is basically what all of the accusations go on to state. Unfortunately, without evidence, we can't have a definitive answer. It's possible that both players decided to feed each other kills before the event. It's possible they each had each other's streams open since both were streaming the event, so they knew where they were to meet up, but we don't have any evidence that this definitely happened. We could look at the kills, see if there's anything suspicious, if it looks like they were set up intentionally, for example, and that's exactly what no Cocoa Puffs did. Oh my god. Oh my right. god, I don't like where that's going. All right, but. I hear one at A, there's and there's not. one mid, so. I'm just smoke mid. Uh, uh, cat? Yeah, or... mid. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you got me mid. I had a goddamn pistol. Look up! You know he's there! What a shot. You're 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 trolling. I'm gonna hold it for off for you. Cause I'm pretty low. I think we're too many for spear. Just one ear. Coming back. Like what? The issue here is that these players aren't exactly CS pros, and that was the defense that Kefri gave anyways. We could try to figure out what a pro player might optimally do in certain scenarios, but that gets a lot fuzzier here, because though the tournament might have been an entertaining idea, it wasn't exactly Na'Vi versus FaZe. So when we see a clip like this, where a 1v1 lurk away from both the bomb and the action happens, it might be suspicious, yeah, but you can't apply the same criteria to people who aren't pros. Without an admission, it's pretty unlikely that we'll ever have a definitive answer on the subject. Having said that, because these accusations were thrown out, knife kills for the rest of the weekend started to be viewed with kind of a suspicious lens. All right, go plant. Behind, behind. Oh, 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 damn. Wow. Oh, wow, that's crazy. To his credit, Kefri did kind of admit that trying to convince people he wasn't cheating was an uphill battle, and I think that's some good self-awareness. On the other hand, he also lobbed some teaming accusations of his own at Nick Bunyan and Tiffe. Uh, yeah. Throws the smoke. It's got the smoke. And looks off her monitor. Oh, no, he's and now she looks back at her monitor. Oh. I was just saying. Where's her cat? This is a Valorant coach that's like immortal. Yeah, so I, can't do I don't know how to cat. smoke lower out, like their spawn. How do I? Looked off her monitor. Looked off her monitor. Uh, you need to throw it from. Gives her back without clearing it. Looks off her monitor. I, have to bounce. I think it's from here. I need to bounce it. Off. Try this. Oh, I got a knife. Oh my god. Wait, how'd they get by you guys? How'd they get by you guys, says the person who literally gave up mid and all of the vision in every aspect. Again, I have no idea. If these clips look suspicious to you, 
than the Kefri and Gale Cliffs that we already reviewed? Well, I'll let you judge for yourself. But I'd be surprised if this exact issue, the potential for teaming, wasn't at least discussed as this tournament format was being planned. The fact that there was no contingency in place when the accusations started flying is a problem because the end result was that a player had to be removed from the tournament, and perhaps even more than that, there were doubts about the entire competitive integrity of the event. Relying on the honor system in this context was just a bad move. Hell, look at what happened to Ms. Kiff's schooled game show. Overall, this rule set was kind of a mess. If you had no money on the line, you had the right personalities, and everybody was committed to kind of just letting the metagame develop in the server, it could have been pretty entertaining. But with money on the line, and fans looking to see their streamer bring home glory, it just wasn't it. As an aside, it is kind of funny that the cheating accusations that we're talking about today aren't the kind where you're like outperforming the expectations, but rather you have two players who we know are cracked and they're being accused of like not playing well enough. Maybe the drama put more eyeballs on this event than would have otherwise seen it, but for the fans who are curious about how their favorite streamer skills would translate to CSGO, the whole thing was a massive L. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.